you know, you're just trying to depict the painting from Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I want to take, take my, my clothes, clothes off. off. No, for real, it's getting really hot. Man, I'm sweating like a pig. Look at that. Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty, and I'm Scotty, and today we're looking at another one of Oxford Block's original ideas. This is so original, I've never even seen it before when I did see it. Dude, that just makes no sense whatsoever. What I meant to say was, I had no idea this existed. We're about to get religious on y'all. So what you're looking at is Oxford Block's The Last Supper, BM3521, 524 pieces. You will build this in no time because it's mostly just all the minifigures there. Look at all that. You got Jesus in the middle with his disciples. 13 minifigures on their last supper. Whether you're religious or not, the set is actually so small, there's not much to really say about it, except it's actually pretty sweet. I really like it. There's nothing wrong with it. You probably put it on your mantle with your picture frames and you have like a little pop out 3D Last Supper. I'm just quickly finding something random about this that's not too long and not too short so you guys can be entertained while you see this, okay? Here we go. So the disciples ate with Jesus and he explained to them that one of them, one of the 12, would betray him. Can you guys guess just from looking at the minifigures' faces who will betray Jesus? Jesus prayed and thanked God for the meal. He then broke the bread and shared the wine with the disciples and explained to them how the bread was a symbol of his body broken for them and the wine a symbol of his blood, which would be poured out in their sins to be forgiven. This is where the church's tradition of communion comes from. You know, when I was a kid, I was always wondering why I had to eat the bread and drink the grape juice. I was actually looking forward to it. I just wanted to eat the whole bread, though. So, dear, what do you think of this? What do you like, what do you like about it so far? I love the fact that the minifigures have clothing. You know, I did forget to mention that I think what makes the set actually even more special is that every minifigure has a real fabric. It's like, it's almost like a leather, and it's not really leather. I don't know what it is. It's fabric, though. It's pretty cool. On both sides here, on the, behind the table, you have two little flowers. Just a nice little touch. A couple windows here along the sides in the back. I do like the long, long table. You do have to be careful, it might bow a little bit. Might have to switch pieces around, but otherwise it's pretty, pretty sturdy in there right now. So let's take a look at the minifigures close up. From left to right, they actually have names in a specific order. So here we go. So first we got St. Bartholomew. And then we have James, son of Alpheus. And St. Andrew, digging a beard. What happened to your eyebrows, man? Oh, bad printing. And then you have Judas Iscariot. Did I say that right? You can totally tell that's Judas. Look, he's the one that's going to betray Jesus. Look at the sweat on his face. Then we got St. Simon Peter. Oh, sorry about your beard, man. It's kind of off. Oh, sorry, my OCD fellas. And of course, John the Apostle. Man, John, your lips. What happened to them? And Jesus of Nazareth. I actually really do like him, the figure itself. Like, pretty good. Continuing on, we have St. Thomas the Doubter. You got messed up lips, too. James the Greater. St. Philip, St. Matthew, St. Jude, Thaddeus. Man, you can sure use a razor and clean those stubs off your face. You just look dirty. And finally, St. Simon, the Zealot. Now what I do like is they actually give you a lot of cups and they have like a strip of studs here on the table. Really cool. You can put all your items on there. The bread is kind of loose with the plates, but you have plenty of bread. The pillars here along the sides are actually pretty cool. There's nothing going on in the back here. You just have some curtains and a little entryway. They're just trying to recreate Leonardo da Vinci's painting, and I think it's a really fun, fun set. I mean, it's just even if you're not a religious type, it's just kind of cool. People will come over and look at it and be like, this is pretty rad. The table can come off really easy. Let's just take the table off. I'm going to show you how easy the table is to come off. We can take the bread off. Yeah, you can build this separately. Completely tiled there. There's all the guys. Yeah. This is The Last Supper. It's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. It's a little bit pricey, as we know, but it's very, very special. And apparently, this is one of Oxford Block's more popular sets. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, Brick Me Out! Boop! Look at all those golden cups. Lots and lots of mugs and glasses there, or whatever you want to call them, wine. These guys are going to get drunk. Yeah. So you are the Christ. Yes, the great Jesus Christ. Prove to me that you're no fool. Walk across my swimming pool. I'm so sorry. I just got a song stuck in my head now. Every song about Jesus is in my head because I'm reviewing the set. Dear, you want me to sing to you? For I know I shall find 
my own peace of mind, for I have been promised a land of my own. I don't know if I forgot the lyrics. Did I screw that up? Yeah, I can't get the songs out of my head either. What are some of the songs, dear? Come on. I look handsome. I look smart. I am a walking worker bat in my dazzling coat of many colors. How I love my coat of many colors. And this one's red, and yellow, green, and blue. I don't know if that's your order. I haven't seen that play forever, but I love it. Well, Scotty looks completely silly as he doesn't know his history. Please don't forget, subscribe on his head, watch some videos you might not have seen here, and even more over here. Look at him, he still has no idea what he's talking about, you silly monkey.